Hey you guys, Mellow on the Perfume Dawn, back at you with a very cool video and I'm super excited to do it. I was tagged by Sintatar Fragrance. His channel will be linked below. You should totally check him out. He is the king. He is the king of niche fragrances. He's always discovering a new brand. This new brand's popping up all the time. And if you really want to be in the know about something that's different, unique, and off the radar, be the first to know by subscribing to his channel. So it's this entire fragrance, and he tagged me in this video. It's gonna be the four most important fragrances in my fragrance journey. So this was a very difficult, very, very difficult thing for me to choose. And of course, this is going to be like, you know, a back and forth thing for me. But I'll tell you four very important fragrances. I don't know about the most, but four very important fragrances for me in my fragrance journey. And I'll tell you why if you keep watching. Again, Valley Valley Perfume down here. If you like fragrances, if you like smelling good, go ahead, draw my perfume mafia by subscribing, like, share this with someone else that really likes fragrance and wants to be in the know. And also you should su subscribe because I post in the community tab community tab about different fragrances that are on sale, um, different notes, and we just have a really good old funky time. So Subscribe and follow me on Instagram. It's Valerie on the Perfume down on there. And let's get into this video. So the first fragrance that is very monumental in my fragrance journey is going to be one that was, wow, so memorable. So this kind of goes back to the whole idea of like scent memories. And this one, whenever I smell it, I think of two things. Two things. Grad school. I wore this scent all through grad school. And I had a friend, Chavi, and he absolutely loved this scent on me. Bobby, pretty much everyone loved this scent. They're like, you smell like absolute roses. And like, whenever I wear it, he like grab, grab my wrist and just like <laughs> bury his head in it because it's so beautiful. It smells like literally like a bouquet of fresh roses. I discovered this scent when I was actually on a grad school trip. We went to Dublin, Ireland, some other countries in Europe, but I was in, actually, no, not Dublin. We were in Northern Ireland at the time just stumbled upon, I didn't really know much about Joe Malone. I think I'd seen it in the past and I was like, this is my chance to really get my hands on it. So I went into the store at this amazing sales associate. She showed me around and I settled on Red Roses. So I have repurchased this a few times. Um, I've never committed to the huge bottle because I don't want to wear it out because I kind of want this scent to be just attached to Northern Ireland that trip and I wore the remainder of the time. And so it, it just brings me back to Ireland and going in the pubs and hanging out with all of my friends and wearing it in grad school. But I love this scent so much and it's quite important in my fragrance journey and that house would always have a special place in my heart because of that. So Jo Malone Red Roses is the first one. The next one I have is from the Elemental Fragrances and this is quite amazing to me because this is the first brand that I've worked with, like officially worked with and they've sent me one of their products in. I just happen to really love this creamy amber scent. A little bit sweet, but very womanly. I talk about it all the time because I really love it. it. The name means love. Amorous, I believe it is, number six, but love this brand, love the scent, and it's always gonna have a special place in my heart. I wear it quite often because it's so easy to wear. I love to wear it to work, and I think it works for all seasons, so. Love that scent so much. That is the Elemental Fragrance Amorous. The next scent that I have is going to be, so this is quite interesting. This is actually, ooh, it's dusty. I haven't worn it in some time. I picked up this scent when I was on a work trip. I was in Seattle and we went to the headquarters of this company, but we had time to like tour around and see different things. So I had the opportunity to go into, I believe it was, it's either Neiman's or Nordstrom that they are an exclusive to, I believe. So I went in there and I was like, I am looking for a really good scent. I want to spend a little bit of coin because this scent is not cheap to me. Wow. Um, but I was like, I want to spend a little bit of coin I've saved. And I want to get something really good quality, something unique, and something that's totally me. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I'm a freshie. I love a fresh, clean scent. Nothing's better than smelling fresh and clean. It works for every, every occasion to me. So this is a fresh, clean scent. I know I'm like burying the lead. But this is a fresh, clean scent. But you know, it's something a little bit different. There's something that smells like mineral, metallic. A little bit industrial about it 
and it just really intrigued me and I had to pick it up. So this is from the Swedish brand. Oh my God, the guy who makes these fragrances is so hot. He's so hot. Have you seen him? Okay, I'm talking about Byredo. Have you seen the guy who makes these fragrances? Hotty, hot, 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 hot. Anyways, Blanche, clean, smells like water. The memories, I love this scent so much. I actually, I, oh no, look, it's getting low. But I wear this like when I go out, when I just wanna smell fresh, clean. I think it has like an eclectic take to me. I just think it's like minimalism in a bottle. I have an actual review on this if you want um, to know more about how I feel about performance and everything. But I love this scent so much and it totally takes me just on a trip in my mind. And just that experience. I had a great experience with the sales guy. I was like, you know what? Let me spray it. Let me see how I feel. I walked around and I totally came back after I got this a little bit of other shopping. I was like, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. That's exactly what I've been looking for. Clean. Simplistic. Simplistic. Like literally it smells like a straight line love the scent really well it has like aldehydes and everything in it um but it's done so well not the chanel number no. five kind you know aldehydes can perform in so many different ways and fragrances and how they combine it in the compounds but love that scent if you're able to it's very difficult to find in the store i have to admit but if you're able to please check that scent out now the next one, next one that we have is actually going to be oh very exciting and very new i've been talking about it a lot recently it was my first introduction to this niche house which is so popular it is so popular everyone always talks about it but i didn't know where to start i'm like should i go here should i go there uh, they have another one that i'm going to pick up quite recent well i'm going to pick up um very soon because now i'm like totally addicted um, I got addicted because there's a guy on Instagram who raves about this brand all the time. The performance, the complexity of their fragrances, the notes, um, the sillage, everything. Everything about these fragrances is superb. The packaging, the packaging, the packaging is quite beautiful. Um, and you know, you just, you feel like when, you, when you're spending your money, you want to feel like you're getting something from it. You want to feel like you're getting your money's worth and you totally do with this scent so i'll quit burying the lead but i just want to start with showing you the packaging now you see it this is mancera i was talking about mancera guy who told me about this scent but that's mancera the box is absolutely beautiful it's gold one of my favorite ugh, i just love gold i feel like i look amazing in gold gold and orange actually are my favorite colors a little bit a uh, yellow but gold i feel like is my thing Velvet Vanilla Eau de Parfum. It's a four fluid ounce. Not bad. I feel like you can find it for like under a hundred bucks. That's co that's comparable to like designer scents. Amazing. Comes in this amazing box. Okay. That's beautiful by itself. Presentation is there. But not only that, the same way as if you're buying a nice pair of shoes or an elegant handbag, it comes with its own personal dust bag as well. I mean, look at that very nice it has the tag mancera paris on the side gold bag i don't know if this will begin to crack over time but i wouldn't even be hating if you wanted to just carry it like this instead of you know sometimes you want to protect your sense when you're traveling you don't want to have to keep it in the box you can just keep it in this dust bag love it so the bottle doesn't get damaged and then when you get to the bottle they have so many different designs but they're all unique and truly represent the fragrance as well that's how the bottle looks. Beautiful sunrise, beautiful fuchsia to an orange to, and I didn't, I actually didn't plan this, to a yellow tone. Beautiful sunset. Velva Vanilla, again, it has the packaging or the title, tells you how much is in there. Um, this is printed. That's a big thing for me because I've received some fragrances that were not cheap, but like the label was off a little bit. No, this is precise. This is precise. The thing I love about this fragrance is that the top, you don't just pull up, you have to twist like a bottle, like a bottle top. So that makes it feel even more secure. So if you are the type of person where you don't think sometimes you just grab it by the top, you're not gonna risk breaking it or anything like that. It's a twisty, 
twist it off and it disperses beautifully. <sighs> Look at that, did you see that cloud? Mmm, smells so amazing. Their notes are just blended to perfection. Blended to perfection. I love this brand so much. So this is Velvet Vanilla, which smells like birthday cake to me. And that was perfect because it was kind of like a birthday gift to myself. Um, however, I really want to pick up uh, Wild Candy because I heard that one is just as sweet and just as wonderful. Um, but those are four scents for me that were, they're quite staples in my collection. And I kind of don't know where I'd be without them. So... Let me know, let me know what are four, four staples in your collection. And I wanna tag some people, okay? I wanna tag Amber Chantel, girl. I think, I think that's, I'm saying her name wrong. I'm terrible with names. Totally terrible, totally terrible. Amber Chantel, I wanna tag, um, I don't know if, what's her name? Katrina Washington, Karina Washington. I'm terrible. I'm sorry, Karina Waldron. Y'all, we get it right eventually. That girl. I want to tag Beauty Meow. And I also want to tag... Um, <laughs> dang. Ugh, I'm so bad with names. I'm so bad with names, dude. Solano. I'm going to tag Solano. Whoever hasn't... Whoever's already done this disregard. I didn't go do the research. But I have tagged you. So, you should do it. Maybe Smurfy Girl, too. Let's throw her in there. Let's do Clemens Fragrance. Yeah, all y'all. Gang, gang. Let's do it. Mr. Cologne. Do it. <laughs> I feel like, you know, at the award show, like, I want to I wanna say thank you to my family. You up, cuz? Yeah, I want to say thank you to my friend. We grew up together. That one dude on the playground, they used to push me down. Yeah, thank you to you. I wouldn't be here without you, man. Thank you. That's how I feel right now. But anyways, everyone do it, okay? Tag someone, have a good time, and I'll catch you guys next time.